What's up guys, it's Fisher from Geek Starts. So we have our Glassfish server just installed and not configured over our instance. And in this video, we are just going to do that. So let me first go into root. So I'm going to do a sudo su minus. And the reason I'm being root is because I'm going to add a new group and a new user called Glassfish. So even, so if we use Postgres, as the user and group for this if the postgres user is compromised our glassfish server is compromised and then all the domains in the server will also get compromised it's like a best method to create a new user and group for applications and so let's create a group group add glassfish and once i do this i have to also create a user and assign it to the same group as called glassfish so I'm going to do a user add. So these are the switches that I'm going to use. The first one is minus s, which tells the like, like the kernel that for this user use the shell bin bash. Then I'm going to tell which group it belongs to if I want to add it to any group. So I'm going to add it to glassfish, and then I'm going to tell the name of the user that I'm going to add, which is glassfish. So once you add this, you have a user and a group called Glassfish. So now we are going to change the ownership of the folder Glassfish4 in CD. So first let me do a CD USR share. And what I'm going to do, if I do an LS over here, you can see Glassfish4 is the folder. This is the folder and this is the zip file. We extracted this zip file in the last video and this that created this folder. So what I'm going to do is do a ch own, which is change owner, and I'm going to do it recursively, forcefully, for glad, like user glassfish and group glassfish, and I'm going to name the folder. So this is glassfish folder. So what I just did is change the owner owner of glassfish four to user glassfish and pa like group glassfish so once i do this if i do a ls minus l and if i do a grep should i do a grep okay let me show you ls minus l so you will see all these options so if i speci specifically want to select the folder glassfish so i'm going to run a grep and then you can see there are two files glassfish 4 and the zip file so this belongs to glassfish and glassfish and you can see it's a 755 yeah it's a 755 it's a directory so once you're done with this uh let me go into the glassfish folder because i need to show you a few things so if i do a ls over here you can see glassfish and you can do c ben so first let me show you the domains so glassfish has another glassfish folder which has something called domains so if you go into domains and if you do uh, an ls you will see only one domain which is domain one which is the default one if you want to host more or one or more applications or if you want to run more of one or more applications you can create multiple domains we are just going to use the default one in this video but as in postgres you can create multiple databases on that server you can create multiple applications to run on this glassfish server and to do that all you have to do is like create a new domain and all the files would be in that domain so every application would be separated from the other ones so we are not going to do any of that so let me go back oh i am not in that folder so if i do a cd bin and if i do an ls i am in this bin and let me show you that so i'm in glassfish 4 bin oh not this one wait so if i need to go back cd dot dot and then i do a cd glassfish and then do a bin so if i do an ls over here this is the as admin of Gla bin glassfish and we need to change this later on i'll probably do that in the next video but before that we need to add this as a service and to do that, we first need to go to cd etc init.d where all the services are uh, like defined. 
I do an LS over here, you can see all the services that we usually use. So when we installed Postgres, it created a service for itself, but we don't have one for Glassfish. And you'll understand why we need this. But at this moment, just like follow, follow with me, whatever I'm doing. So do a wget. And what I'm going to do is go to my website, start scripts, and it should be glassfish.sh. So this is the link file that we are going to download. So open your putty and paste this link in wget and hit enter. So it will download a I guess I named it wrong. Let me find out the link. So if I do a scripts, add scripts, I should uh hold on a second. Let me get the link for you. Okay, guys. So I guess I have the right link this time. So let me do a w get. Oh, so I it was a typo. So when I uploaded it, I put like s a class fish. So it was my bad. So what I'm going to do now is it has been downloaded let me see it's saved so it is over here and if i do a ls minus l and do a grab on glass fish you can see that it is owned by root root and it is not executable at all although we need it to be executed like we need to execute this file so i'm going to do a rename first so we don't mess it up so glass fish and i'm going to remove the script and what i'm going to do is first like change its properties attributes so this would be chmod which is change the attributes 755 which is read so let me so if you're doing anything as read let me pull up so hold on a second let me pull up a notepad okay so i have it here so you need to remember these like numbers so read is four write is 2 and execute is 1 so if you give some file uh, like properties of 777 what you're saying is every user the first one stands for user the second one stands for group and the third one stands for others so it says that every user can read the file he can write the file and he can execute the file so when I'm doing a 755, what I am telling is the user can read, write and execute, which is the glass fish. Any other user belonging to the same group, which is glass fish, can just read and write, but it, he cannot execute. No, he can read and execute, but he cannot write. So if some other user is in the same group as I am, he can read the file and he can execute the file. But since I am the owner of the file, only I can write, it, write into it. And the last one is the same one, 5. So what I am going to do now is chmod 755 and I am going to change the permissions of this glass fish. So once you are done with this, let me uh, run that ls-l command again. Where was it? So if I do a glass fish, where? Okay. So now the user so it's not a directory so you can see a hyphen over here so the user can read write and execute r is read write w is ex, uh, write and x is execute the group is r and x which is read and execute and the others is read and execute which comes to 5 4 plus 1 5 so now we have our permissions sorted out and I'm going to add this as a service using check config. So I'm doing a check config. I'm doing a check config on this glass fish. So I'm going to add this and let me check this if it is working. So check check config minus minus level four and glass fish. So only one run level may be specified for a check. Huh? Okay. So minus minus level. No mind it's 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 a service now so what it usually means is like i can do a service class fish start or stop or like status or restart that is what this command did and we and we already know how to do that via this shell script that we just downloaded and apart from that in the next video we are going to do some more configuration 
this is like we are halfway done over configuring the blastfish server and i will continue this in the next video